Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Okay. Oh, I can move. Okay. Hey, everybody. It's me, Karazina Cheetah, here with Serena. This is a free-to-play Steam game, which it already looks really nice. And the voice acting was good, and yeah. But here, let me read you the, uh... Her photo is right there. Maybe I could have another look. Can you please shush? I'm trying to talk here. Um, but let me read you the quick summary. So, uh, so hopefully this isn't buzzing, but it probably One is. One more try. I know it's pointless, but I need to do it. How about we have you look up at the ceiling? There you go. How long has it been? A man sits in a distant getaway cabin waiting for his wife, Serena. Where is she? Things in the cabin evoke memories and the husband comes to a disturbing- I'm terrified of that photo. But I'll lose my mind if I don't have another look. Disturbing realization. The short point and click adventure is the result of a massive collaborative effort between dozens of fans. So I'm thinking this has to be kind of a Silent Hill 2 James Sunderland kind of thing. But let's see. Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of right, ourselves so as a it's couple, just so keep... this one is quite important. Oh, uh, it's literally pointing and clicking. That is really interesting, actually. I kind of like that. Uh... Whoa. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. Okay, then. The furniture came with the cabin, but the bedclothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury, but without her, there are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. Uh -huh, rhyming. I feel too restless to sleep right now. Alright, let's go look in the wardrobe. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like opening it. The sole thought of it drains what little energy I have left in me. Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. Of course not, it's probably only a skeleton. It's fine. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. Okay, so this looks fantastic. I'm just gonna say that now. Uh, hold on. Anyhow, so this game already looks fantastic. The voice acting's really good. Like, it sounds maybe a little stilted, but I kind of like that. I mean, one of my, like two of my favorite games, Silent Hill 2, well, Three of my favorite games, Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 1, and of course, Resident Evil 1. So, you know, among others, but you know what I mean. But like, She is I fairly like that. religious, huh. not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. God, how I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> no longer the cynical asshole, I guess. Her faith came as a surprise to me. She was never prudish about sex, so I just didn't expect it. I guess people simply aren't that predictable. No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. 
we were surrounded by so many outside. I guess we were saturated by them. At least I was. Maybe I should have let her bring some plants inside. She liked them a lot. A plant is a plant. Beautiful to some, boring to others. They say these things are alive. If they are, it must be a horrible existence, confined in their own silent, dark world. We have much more interesting things than this plant inside the cabin. Like my books. Whatever you say, man! Whoa. I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. Alright, let's see what's in my bedside table, because I'm sure this will be fine. Oh, fantastic. Shows you her body art. All of it. Meet Lainey Berry. Up very close and personal. The exotic fringe magnet attracts your eyes. Uh, lesbian coats, myth or reality? Goats? Goats. I don't know why I said coats, but I did. Um... Language lessons and lingerie with Idioa. It, Idoia? There is. I'm gonna not even try that. Uh, boobtastic interview with Morgan Valnor. I'm terrified of dolphins. She was special. Contradictory. She didn't mind these. Actually, I think she was into them too. That looks interesting. We can always try it. I read it for the articles, of course. Oh, like that one by the guy. That one about the thing. Uh-huh. Yep. About the articles, of course. I needed some incentive to go check the mailbox from time to time. It's some way through the woods. Something good left in this world. They still make covers like this. Erotic. Not obscene. She's beautiful, but what's her obsession with dolphins? Well, obviously, she's terrified of them. <laughs> I needed some incentive to go check the mailbox from time to time. Alright. It's some way through the woods. So, let's get back here. It's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left until it gets dark. The sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. Huh. On the vanity, of course. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Yes. Blonde hair like... sun rays. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? I mean, possible? Mm. Mm. She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket. New enough to still have all its teeth. Which is amazing. I could never use combs all that much. Like, I could use them, but... They wouldn't last very long, and they really wouldn't do all that much, because my hair would literally eat them. So, you know, like this mess. This is, this isn't well behaved, by the way. I just washed it, so it's like, yeah, I'll behave for today. <laughs> hmm. Hers. I used it, too, when shaving. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors, so <laughs> this came in handy. <laughs> Should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. I have a feeling that this is not going to show up on the Fraps footage, but it's kind of almost like tracking, like horizontal. It's like little black bars going down through like flickering you know like old tvs when you would try to record it with a video camera and shit wouldn't work you know but it's not that bad it's just like enough to notice that's interesting anyhow these keys are for the cabin and the car if the keys are here does she have her spare i should probably stay here in case she doesn't 
Did she even have her own spare? Man, this isn't going to be good. We also <laughs> have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse, but we rarely lock it anyway. I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. Huh, should get a new one. We also have a key hmm. for the outhouse. Okay. But can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. Well, yeah. I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Oh, you'd be surprised. Don't forget your pill, hun. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of them. They do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. Because of high blood pressure. High blood pressure can do that, man! Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. Okay, there's nothing else. The last thing I need now is to see myself in the mirror. I must look awful. There's dust on this, too. It's everywhere. Great. After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. The last thing I need now is to see myself in the mirror. I must look awful. Oh boy, we found a letter! We found a letter, everybody! Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost, such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guess when I realized what I was seeing, the luminous starscape like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. I'm sort of think that maybe Serena isn't the one who's dead, but who knows? Okay. I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. And I mean, they nobody might even be dead. This might just be dementia or you know who knows or it's like right before you die or somewhere in here in our private refuge there must be something that reminds me of her but you know what i mean it's like something's obviously not quite right ooh watch no i ca i can't have the watch really nothing I miss her so much how is it possible that i can't remember her face Maybe you have that one thing where your brain just goes, faces? Nah! Why would I know what faces are? 